Hi all and welcome to XCOM Chimera Squad. This was released today, April 24th, 2020. It's um, a little bit of a change on the normal XCOM series. You, Your dudes take uh, turns now, a bit like uh, Battle Chasers. Well, exactly like Battle Chasers, uh, Night War. You, uh, each of your little characters or squad members along the right hand side of the screen will uh, have its own turn throughout the encounter and uh, everyone goes in a certain order and you can use certain abilities to move up the uh, order kind of thing uh, but really I've not played it anywhere so I think we're just going to get straight into it uh, we'll go impossible um, Iron Man no hardcore failing any mission results in total campaign loss. No, we definitely don't want that. Adds five levels to the city and it can mean a decrease in the strategic difficulty of the game. Yeah, I mean, we could go with that one, but we'll not. Uh, uh, can't enable tutorial on possible difficulty. So why was it an option then? Okay. Uh, show subtitles. I think we will. And heal between encounters. Don't really know what that is. Let's just... Get into it and have a look. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The City Council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the Reclamation Agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. So, from what I gather on that, there is a little bit to uh, unlock in the tutorial. That gives you a bit more uh, information on that scene. Uh, I think Christopher Odd was... Uh, showed a bit of that so you probably want to go check out one of his videos uh we can choose squad members i have no idea what any of these do so verge uh neural network agent gains 10 aim for each enemy in the neural network certain abilities will add units to the neural networks stupid agent psionically stuns a target okay if one two action look Levitation agent lifts an enemy into the air, removing their cover. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, Battle Madness agent silently attacks an enemy's mind, making them go berserk and attack a nearby target. Adds them to the neural network. Okay, so he sounds good. Uh, Claymore. Shrapnel bomb. Agent throws an explosion, explosive that detonates after several turns. The explosion does not deal damage through cover and can be targeted that just sounds dreadful does not end the turn if used at first action um i wonder if we can shoot that uh it does not deal damage okay can be targeted detonated early so that's just like well obviously the claymore from xcom 2 and the reapers um concussion charge claymore Detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies near the breach point, usable on wall breach points once one use per mission. Uh, I'm not sure about him. Verge sounds good. Uh, Blue Blood, we've got Dead Eye. Agent takes a shot with a minus 15 aim penalty for a plus 50% damage boost. Does not end the turn if used as first action. Okay, that sounds kind of good. Uh, Desperado, standard pistol fire. What? Standard pistol fire and dead eye cost an action and do not automatically end the turn if agent has actions remain. What on earth does that mean? Standard pistol fire and dead eye cost an action. Okay, so they cost an action. And do not automatically end the turn. Okay, so the desperado is dead eye. So that that yeah. Okay, lance a shot. Agent fires his lance pistol at a target, ignoring all cover bonuses. He sounds pretty good. Uh, safeguard agent sends the gremlin to an ally to restore 4 HP. 
a door, uh, hack open a door at the start of a breach. That sounds pretty good. Refresh the ground run, heal all allies at their breach point for 2 HP. One use per mission. Uh, she sounds pretty good. So that would be Blue Blood Terminal and Verge so far. I'm going to pick four. So Churupar's Kinetic Shield Charge. Agents can gain up to two charges by protecting allies with Kinetic Shield. Having charge grants bonuses to several abilities. Kinetic Shield. Place an enemy shield on self or ally to prevent all damage of the next attack. Agent gains one charge when the enemy shield is destroyed. Does not automatically end turn and phalanax phalanax <laughs> enemies what the hell is that phalanax phalanax enemies focus their fire on agent ignoring other XCOM units at this breach point block all damage and gain one charge for each x oh so she's kind of like a, a, a taunt so if we put kinetic shield on ourselves and then use that that might be um pretty good uh, the, we do have breach points I've had a quick look at these and you get like I think it's three per mission where you can go in some give you advantages some don't like some give you disadvantages so if we take her we probably use her to go in by herself kinetic shield and then t kind of taunt them kind of thing and then take them over uh, shelter relocate agent f silently swaps positions with a target enemy or ally it's not automatically at the turn. Dazzle Ancient. Ancient. Agent launches a silent blast that disorientates all enemies near the breach point. Targeted enemy is disordered now. Patchwork. Charging Jolt. Agent sends the gremlin to an enemy to jolt them. Attack chains to nearby enemies. Damage is increased against robotic enemies. Hack. Open a door at the start of a breach. Which one was. That was her. She had hack. Uh, combat scanners. The gremlin scans the room, applying hollow target on all enemies. Increase the squad's aim by plus 15 against marked enemies. Uh, no. So we've got a viper. Talk. The agent wraps up an enemy, dealing damage and preventing them from attacking on their turn. This one sounds good. Uh, so just like a normal viper in XCOM. Um, uh, was it? Was it? Bound enemies cannot be targeted by XCOM for risk of damaging agent. So this would just be like um, we're wrapping up a target so they can't move and we can't move either. Okay. Uh, agent shoots out their tongue to grab a unit and pull them into melee range. Can be used on enemies and allies. Some oversized targets cannot be pulled. Okay, an adaptable agent can naturally enter through event breach points. Okay, so that one might be good for breaching. We've got Godmother, scattershot agent, fires the primary weapon. Short range cone, damaging multiple targets, costs two ammo. Alpha strike agent fires the primary weapon during the breach and will take their turn earlier on the timeline. Agent also gains one bonus action on their first turn, one per mission. Oh, so that, that actually sounds pretty good as well. Um, mobility AM65. Are they all 65? Oh, we've got 75 there. I definitely want him. And we definitely want a healer. So, crippling blow, agent punches an enemy and flicks one of several states effects. Um, no. Fearless advance. Attacks them after the breach. This will position Zephyr near the enemy. If the enemy was alert, their alert breach action is cancelled. Parry. Yeah. And we've got Axion. Mobility and health. Oh, so Deadeye's got low health. What can you do anyway? Smash. So this one looks like a uh, mute, mute on. It's a mute on. Agent charges to a target and smashes down with both fists. Chance to just orientate stone, yeah, rage, um, battering ram. Burst through a door, breach point with a chance to panic nearby enemies. Panic, chance increase with rage. He sounds pretty good actually. Claymore, no. Who was I gonna we we'll go for talk? I think we'll go for godmother. 
I mean, we'll just try. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if you get any more or get to pick all the ones afterwards. But whatever. Let's go with this. Chimera squad, heads up. Directors on the line from XCOM HQ. Chimera squad, I know you're still settling in, but this cannot wait. A short time ago, insurgents crashed the opening of City 31's Memorial Museum. They took Mayor Nightingale hostage. 3-1 PD attempted a rescue, but the insurgents triggered a plasma bomb. Everyone inside was lost. Yes, 3-1 PD should have requested our help, but dwelling on that is counterproductive. We need to focus on what we do next. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Okay, choose next investigation. So, the prog progeny? Progeny? A loose network of human scions. Their vision for City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Grey Phoenix, an organization of alien scavengers. They have quietly amassed the kind of weaponry reclamation is mandated to recover. And Sacred Coil, an underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. Okay, so that's like the aliens who want to be aliens and still hate uh, humanity. Um, these have got weapons. And they're just psi operatives. I kind of think if it's going to be anybody, it's going to be these who have done it. Because they've got weapons and stuff, so... Although, again, these ones might do it because they don't want uh, aliens to function with um, humans by the sounds of things. They, they don't want... Anyone who... Because XCOM fought the aliens, so... I, I think we're going to go with uh, Grey Phoenix. Grey Phoenix is a group of primarily muton scavengers operating in the city. Recently, they've armed themselves with highly restricted weaponry. That puts them on our radar. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 3-1-PD's jurisdiction? True. The Reclamation Agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. So, that director Kelly sounds a lot like uh, Firebrand from XCOM 2. And these uh, factions sound a bit like the, the Chosen. So there's three of them. And we each need to take one of them out kind of thing. I don't know if we get to invest... Uh, uh, do them all at once. Doesn't sound like it. Sounds like we have to do one at a time. So, active operation. And we... Investigate Grey, Fe Grey Phoenix. We need to know more about Grey Phoenix before we can proceed with our investigation. Faction overview. An organisation of... Yeah, we know that. Uh, no active dark events. Okay, so we've got dark events again. First of March. Investigation opened. Faction leadership. Have exceptional technical capabilities. Their extensive local connections suggest time in City 31 before the war. Okay, well, what do we do here then? Is that this one? Well, Welcome looks like we did. City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. So, what I was going to say is, this seems to be, um, like, the same as, um, like, research and engineering and stuff like that, but slightly different. Uh, 
so we've got a mission there. That looks like our team. Let's have a look at this. Check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Okay, or so we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll take time to stress test our patterns, but once we have them, we're good to go. Okay, so we we, we can't build anything anyway. Uh, Android personnel construct the Android OPS hub. This network allows us to use Android on tactical missions and enables new assembly projects. Okay, so 10 power and the two time we we'll go 55. Well, I don't know. Let's begin that. Maybe it's a resistance ring or something. No, it's it's just engineering, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Authorizing Chimera Squad for special operations. Some ops provide useful resources for the squad. Keep an eye out for these opportunities. Okay, so glad handing. Convince well to do individuals and business groups to provide stopgap funding in this time of crisis. Uh, well, as we got a mission, I don't think we're going to do that yet. Whoops. And as <laughs> it only highlighted these, I suppose we best uh, go and do this. We'll find out all that other ones afterwards. XCOM's kind of good at um, easing you into things and not overwhelming you. So, send a APC. To a dangerous device. But destroying it would cause harm to you or others. In that case, finesse is the better option. Approach the device and disable it, just as you were trained. Okay, so we need to investigate Grey Phoenix in the stacks. It's going to be moderate. Uh, protected breach points. Projected. Okay, breach points. Uh, can we do anything? Breaching charge? Um, I want to, who was the one who could breach better? Um, <laughs> I should have really paid more attention there. Um, is it since I have some special training? I think it was Godmother, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll give her the charge. We've got nothing. Can we build anything? Make items available. No, that's fine. Um, well, we can't build anything or do anything, so supply. Our temporary oh, field okay. office has all the basics: weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. Well, we've got a breaching charge anyway, don't we? So, uh, key card we don't have any security doors it was just a door and something else i think flashbang won't be night med kit definitely and we have 100 credits left uh trace rounds to plus 5 am that doesn't sound like a lot um uh, we're only ever 10 won't they so uh, containing high-tech smart rounds that real Really, a detail tracking data back to the shooter when fired. This specialised ammo grants bonus aim when equipped. Okay. Trank rounds. If the target would be killed, they would be rendered unconscious instead. Unconscious units are captured at the end of each mission. Reclamation gets more intel from live captives than body counts. Okay. Agents are encountered to incorporate encouraged to incorporate non-lethal trank rounds into the loadouts. Um, I don't know, let's, let's grab one. A lot of intel at the start would be nice. Um, we'll give it a blue blood, I think. And we'll give Terminal our med kit. Okay, I'm hoping it was Godmother that had the... Uh, <laughs> that extra turn when we breach a short while ago Grey Phoenix engaged unknown assailants at this location 
After the shooting stopped, Gray Phoenix locked down the whole block. Any civilians? No, they all made it clear. Gray Phoenix told them leave and keep running. Now, does that seem strange to you? Very. We're missing something here. Let's see if we can fill in the blanks. Breach mode. Uh, main door? Quick scan. First unit through the entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. Okay, so we want... Um... Someone to be marked. It's either going to be Godmother or Terminal. We'll put Terminal. She's got, um... The most health. And... I don't know, we'll keep, uh... Blue blood at the back, he's a sniper. Is that right? Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go time. Okay, so we get a shot here. We might as well go for the uh So this does three to five damage and you have five health. Okay, let's go for that. So we've got cover rush. What's cover rush? Gain bonus defense and dodge until the agent's first turn. No. Right, let's just shoot. Nice. So that wouldn't be a kill. That would be a kill. That one wouldn't be. Let's go for that one then. If we can take out as many as we can as soon as we come in, that would be uh, good. Right, what have we got here? Uh, so cover rush and breach fire. Uh, if we can... Maybe... He looks like he's got some armour or something there. Don't know what that is. We can't actually hit any of these. Oh yeah, we can. That was cover rush. Um. Let's go for this one. We're closest to it. Yes, so that is armor. So we'll shoot him as well. Right, we've got unconscious. Oh, because you've got the tracer arms. Okay, we always need to uh, finish off with him. Right, he goes next. So what have we got? So fire weapon, safeguard. Subdue. Uh, Melee strikes a target. If the target would be killed, they will be rendered unconscious instead. Okay, so we, we didn't need the tracer rounds. We can use that. Overwatch. Preparation. Terminal prepares for the next turn by increasing their defense by 30 and their dodge by 50. Their next turn is moved earlier on the timeline. Removes. Think again. Um... So we can't kill him. I think we're just going to fire. It's a, it's a terrible shot. Let's just do Overwatch instead. Okay, that was dreadful. So where's he going? All right. He, uh, that, that, that's You're good. Safe. Get moving. Cool. Missed. Right, he's put yourself in a nice spot, we can uh, go and flank him. What shots do we have? Talk pull? I mean, that might be uh, pretty good, actually. If we can get him there, we don't need to move everybody else out. So, subdue, overwatch, preparation, team up. Talk coordinates with a target. Unimpartial ally, moving there. Turn next on the timeline. The team up ability is shared between the entire squad and can only be used once per mission. Well, we're all here now. He's only got like. Is that five health? One, two, three. Looks like more than five health, eh? Like. Yeah, let's, let's talk, Paul. Let's see if we can get him. 
and then we can shoot. Oh, that's nice. Still got a lot of armor to do with uh, getting rid of some of that. Uh, this would be a kill. Uh, let's just shoot him. Okay, is that it? Or is there more? I'm getting a strong source of Illyrium in your vicinity. I can't pinpoint a location. There's a ramen bar out back. Maybe Illyrium is their secret ingredients. Ramen. I'll get some ramen. So, breach mode, okay. Uh, so, surprise successful shots on enemies during breach will stun. Ooh. Explosive entrance. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. So, this is surprise. Uh, do we want to do two attacks? We will send terminal and blue blood in that way. Oh, what's this? What? Okay, she can go that way. Oh, with... Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And then, uh, we'll just try it out. See what happens. Let's go. Reaching now. Okay. Maybe should have saved that, like, but, uh... Okay, so that's not a very good shot. It's a potential kill though, so yeah, let, let's go for it. 71. Okay, nice. Then we've got an 84. I think we'll take that. That's a potential kill as well, so. Nice. Uh, this is not a kill. We can't get them. Okay, so we'll just take that shot. And again, we'll just shoot there. Oh, do we get it? One ability and 40 dodge. That doesn't sound good. So we've got preparation, overwatch, subdue, and team up. What's team up again? So Godmother coordinates with target. Unimpaired ally moving their next turn on the timeline. So if we were to do talk, we'd get you next. Yeah, that's, we'll do that. Do we still get another shot? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh god, that's dreadful. Um. Well, this was uh, not the best of uh, things, was it? Um, Subdue. Godmother's melee strikes target. If the target would be killed, they will be rendered unconscious instead. So that was... That's a no. Uh, preparation. Press for the next turn. Um, hmm. I'm going to move her back. And we'll overwatch. Because that's dreadful. So let's overwatch. Oh. Well, that's going to be not so good. Should have gone there. Um, We could come in here and potentially kill him. That door looks pretty nasty, actually. Um... This is a flank. It wouldn't be a kill, though. Um, we could pull. Let's try for the 80% pull. I've Get him. You. 
in here. Nice. Then we can... Oh, now he's flanked. Okay. We'll end turn. 33% chance to crit. I don't know if that's a kill. Let's just go for it. No, it's not a kill and he gets to go now. Oof. Who's this one? That's you. We're not going to stop you, I don't think. And... Oh. Where are they? Is that all of these? There's only three we can see, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's kill the big guy then. That kind of maybe is a good job. It didn't move very far, though. Ooh, nasty. Okay, Overwatch didn't work there. That's uh, fine. Uh, right, this one next. We've got a 50-50 chance there. Yeah, um, let's just take the 50-50. Nice. Can't, can't really do anything else. There's no way we can move up. Okay. Ooh, we get two shots, do we? Nice. Well, we'll overwatch then. Like that. And that's covering both doors then. Potentially kill it if it moves. Nice. And unconscious. Sweet. Right, let's uh, move in and shoot him. Then. We've got three three other people who can um, do this stuff. <laughs> uh, why isn't that a flank? On the go. We've got someone else if this doesn't hit, actually. So. What's that, 84? Yeah. Get down. Right, is that it? Nice. So we don't get a heal here. This is our next Whoa, breach point. I'm reading a massive Illyrium core in the next room. It, it, it's losing stability fast. Secure and contain that core before it takes out the whole block. Check your file. None of us should go home in bags. Okay. Breach mode. Uh, all non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. We do not have... An explosion. So first impression, first units through the entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. Ooh. Units automatically activate overwatch after the breach. So we have no more explosives there, so everyone's gotta go in here. So I think we should have blue blood to uh, do the Guarantee? No, 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 no. Uh, let's have Godmother to do it first. Actually, can we? Uh, how do we? What's that? Like door. Open a door at the start of a breach. Okay. Um. How do we change these? Yeah, no, that's it, right? We just don't click it. Godmother's damage, so we'll put blue blood in next. Then terminal and talk. Okay, let's go. Breach, breach, breach. So we are guaranteed to hit. That's a kill. That's not a kill. That's a kill. That one looks like it's in cover. He's out in the open, but we can't kill him anyway. And that one looks like he's uh, out in the open as well. 
Although... Alert. Uh, I don't know what this yellow means. Does that, does that mean he's flanked? Well, they both flanked, so... Let's go for... Him, because he's further back. Let's try and take Mr. Mute on out. Go for the mute run again. Nice. Okay, we got a few more. Oh, damn. Uh, didn't realise that. Shut it down. Got the drop on him. Okay, who is you next? This. You are next. We can probably kill you, actually. Well, let's try for that. Awesome. Is it this one next? No, you're not next. And we can't target this one. Um, that is him. Oops. So this wouldn't be a kill. How about if we move in there? to flank and shoot them. So, 43% chance to crit. We're not going to kill this guy anyway, so... Let's try and take this one out. <gasps> Dude. Okay, that's nice. Uh, eek. <laughs> Yeah, that, that shouldn't have happened. Right, so we've got this one next. We, I keep doing that by mistake. We should... So, safeguard sends a gremlin to an ally to restore 4 HP. Um, thank God Mother's okay for now. I think we might try and take this dude out. Be better. Let's go for it. Nice. So we are going to take some damage here. Like a lot of damage, probably. Enemy activity. Okay. That's unusual for them to do with that. That shouldn't have really happened. Seems it's kind of a little bit weird. Uh, so this is all flanking. Let's uh Well we might as well talk pull actually. Hundred percent. And then we can just shoot it anyway, if we don't kill it. Uh, I mean we won't kill it, but yeah that, that, that I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's worked. Um Let's take you in. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, okay. Was not ex crap. His muscles have muscles. Was not expecting that. Uh, however, we've we've got plenty of people to go before him, so let's just shoot him. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, Godmother's lightly wounded. We got uh, five rounds completed. Three encounters. 13 enemies killed, 2 captured, 3 rescued, and no casualties. Excellent. Excellent. So, Illyrium Core recovered. One thing we know about Grey Phoenix, they should stay away from Illyrium Cores. Oh, my director Kelly is on the line. I'll patch her through when you get back to base. Okay. From two captured enemies, there is a 40% chance to earn 20 intel. Okay, so we need more captured enemies to get more intel. I 
have to say, I kind of I really like this. Um, so we got 30 credits uh, from the archives. Bradford, aliens in your agency. Jane, what are you thinking? Kelly, what is our greatest existential threat, Bradford? The elders returning. Ellie, if they, Kelly, if they do, who will we need? Who will we need to fight them off? Bradford, everyone. I get it. I've seen the projections, but do we really think the commander will go for this? Kelly, I think the commander has already seen the bigger picture. Transcript of Reclamation Working Group Meeting 2037, August 25th. Okay, awesome. Grey Phoenix is after large quantities of Illyrium. Why do they need that much power? Illyrium access would allow them to refine an explosive powerful enough to kill Mayor Nightingale. Grey Phoenix has the means. Find out if they had the motive. Okay, so investigation status still in progress. Stop the aliens. We've connected Grey Phoenix to a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Grey Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. An organization, yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, no. Dark events investigation opened. One thing we know about Grey Phoenix stay away from Illyrium cores. Okay, continue. Okay, so we've got um, training. Speak up. We connected Grey City Phoenix map. to a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Grey Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Okay, so we've got a, a bunch of um, stuff here. It's rage trafficking meat. So that one's going to be difficult. Chimera Squad, I'm Commissioner Maloof of 31 PD. To be blunt, I don't give a chrysalid's ass about the politics. I'm glad you're in the city. 31 PD was stretched thin before the mayor's death. There are gaps to fill, and that's where you come in. When your agents can handle a situation better than my officers, I'll send the details your way. If the city council has a problem with that, I'll take the heat. They can't afford to fire me. I look forward to working with you. Commissioner Maloof, not even going to say hello? Blue blood, is it now? Couldn't hack in a 3-1 PD, so you had to fail upward? You know how it is, Halia. I always pick the easy path. The department is happy to see one of its own back in town. Good to be back. We'll do right by you, Commissioner. Of that, I have no doubt. Okay, so, um... Receive a tip about an Illyrian powered device used in a string of recent burglaries. We should seize it before it slips away. So we get 45 intel there. Uh, not sure I want to do that one. I would like uh, something to eat. What the hell is this one? Unknown Grey Phoenix target. This dish is the target of an active hostile operation, but we don't know enough to shut it down. Unrest will increase in the district while the operation is active. Completing lead missions will accelerate our investigation. Given us an early opportunity to shut the operation. Should, should we shut down the operation, I think? Uh, so what's this? Oh. Uh, finance. 15 credits income every month. 10 in L income every month. 10 Illyrium income every month. What do we need? Intel is spent to buy or upgrade field teams on the city map and buy exotic items in the scavenger. Um, Illyrium spent to power projects and credits are spent in supply to both buy new items and upgrade existing ones. I guess it's all. I don't know, we don't spend that yet. I don't even know what we're doing yet. <laughs> so that's the same. So it looks like until we unlock each one in stages, we don't get, uh... Ooh. So, credits each month plus minus one district unrest for completing district situations. Uh, so, unrest every Friday sounds nice, so I, th I think security might be the one to go for there. Well, probably it's everywhere. What about these? Uh, all the same, actually. Um, 
What is this one? So these are all going to be difficult. We get 35 Illyrium here. I think we might go for this one to get some more credits. I don't know what this means. Unrest, so is this the unrest meter? So if we don't do that, well, we get a little bit of unrest. The same goes for this one, doesn't it? Uh, so these are both about the same. I don't know what uh, these different colours mean. To check out these for a second. I don't want to put anybody in those on mission, yet. You need to maintain your skills, physical and mental. Training is the place to do it. It's also where you can adapt to any lasting wounds received in the field. So don't let those wounds linger. You'll pay for them in the long term. Okay, select a unit. Um, I, I, I don't want any units, to be honest. Um, armory, supply, investigation. New recruit. Okay, you can now select an agent to add to your squad. The director convinced awesome. the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. Uh, so this will trigger momentum. I don't know what momentum is. Fearless advance. Uh, Zephyr. Blitters towards an enemy and melee attacks them after the breach. This will position Zephyr near the enemy. If the enemy was alert, their attack breach action is cancelled. Ooh. Ooh, uh, and if we use her, that one, uh, him with the uh, uh, terminal who protects them with the shield or something, then that might be good. So, agent gains 10 aim for each enemy in the neural network. Um, I, I kind of want the stone. So, we'll grab you for now. Welcome to our temporary home. What are your thoughts on exposed steel girders? Remarkably positive. They reduce risk of psionic attack. Really? Ha. Ah, no. The steel does nothing. We are completely exposed to psionic incursion. Thanks for the next few weeks of fear-powered insomnia. <laughs> um... No, I'm not gonna do anything like that yet. Um, Agent Idol. Okay, okay. Um, well, I kind of like that team. So, Spec Ops. Uh, this will give us 75 credits or 60 Intel or 20 Illyrium. Um, let's go for credits. Or three days. On verge, in you go. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. <laughs> right, uh, city map. So I think we're going to go do raid trafficking meet next time. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time.